let's talk about the ultimate goal in fitness. Lose fat while gaining muscle at the same time. You might think that's impossible. If I eat less calories than my body actually needs, I will lose weight, but that weight will be always in the form of fat as well as muscle. Well, I found a hack where this does not necessarily need to be true. In this video, I'm going to share two strategies that can help you preserve muscle mass or even build more while you are on a diet. Ready for it? Let's dive into the science. Hi everyone, I'm Gomar. I'm a senior scientist at ETH Zurich based in Switzerland. And for the last decade or so, I studied how nutrients could affect the outcomes of exercise, like strength training, for example. I've published many uh, papers, peer-reviewed papers in this field, and now I want to share some of that science back to you guys. So let's go back to the basics of the basics. If you eat less calories than the body actually needs, you will lose body weight. And conventionally, people thought that if you do lose body weight, you will always lose, let's say, a proportion fat and a proportion muscle, all right? And indeed, if you look at the study, so this is an overview study where many, many studies in the diet space have been listed and you can see that all the studies showed that you actually lose fat-free mass while you are on a conventional diet, right? Carbohydrate restriction, fat restriction, even protein restriction, it doesn't really matter. People here on average lost around 2%, 3% of fat-free mass, which in this video we can consider mostly as a muscle mass. It's not exactly correct, but uh, let's consider it here. And indeed, if you look at the percentages, we are looking at 30% would be loss of muscle mass and let's say 70% if you do it normally would be a uh, fat or or um, yeah fat fat mass that that the person would lose all right so that was the conventional idea and i was thinking i mean that that cannot be possible there must be ways to actually circumvent this and maybe to preserve muscle mass while, while you are on the diet and let's dig into a very nice study on this topic and the last author and lead lead researcher here is Stuart Phillips so if you're interested in um, the science behind protein intake and the effect on muscle mass and also while you are on the diet I think looking up his research he has published hundreds of papers in this space would be uh, something to start with I will definitely link also this paper into the description and what they looked at is um, a higher compared to a lower protein diet in combination with exercise. So I'll, I'll dig into it. How was this study uh, set up? So it's a very meticulous study. So that, that means that everything was really well controlled and um, the confounding variables were, in my opinion, uh, quite low. So the results coming out of this study is something we can actually use in our, in our own life because the, the results are credible. And what did they do? They had two groups, right? And both groups ate 40% too little calories than they would actually need okay so a person was calculated let's say 80 kilograms uh, body weight um, we have some estimations on how much that person actually should eat to just get the right amount of calories in to preserve muscle mass to preserve uh, body weight right so these people ate 40 percent less that's quite a, a restricted diet i would say and then there were two groups one was a high protein group they ate 2.4 grams per kilogram body weight and the other uh, group ate a low protein, or let's say a normal protein diet, 1.2 grams per kilogram. So what does it actually mean? So uh, for example, myself, I weigh 85 kilograms. If I would have to eat 2.4 grams per kilogram body weight of protein only, uh, I am talking about 205 to 210 grams of protein daily. So if I would have four meals a day, I would have to spread my protein, let's say 50 grams of protein each meal. That is quite a lot. That's, for example, more than what I eat uh, now, for example. The other people, uh, they obviously ate half of those uh, amount of proteins. And here you can see the breakdown uh, really nicely. Um, obviously, the protein group ate more protein, as I just said, and um, the, the control group ate less protein, but they ate a little bit more fat. You can see there, uh, 86 grams of fat versus 38 grams uh, of fat. Total, they ate the same, let's say, uh, amount of, of calories. Important point, all the meals were provided into the laboratory, right? So it were provided to the people. So it was not some kind of uh, food log where people had to guesstimate how much they ate. No, no, they actually got their food prepared and provided to them. That's why this study is actually a very nice uh, study, in my opinion. So what did they also do? So both groups also did exercise. 
and they j didn't do a little bit of exercise, like some aerobic uh, stuff. No, they actually did some vigorous exercise. Two times a week, they did some kind of circuit training, CrossFit style, leg press and, and, uh, and, and other uh, movement at 80% of their 1RM, so kind of strength training in, in a circuit style, two times a week. Two times a week, they did uh, high intensity uh, interval training. So that's, that's uh, sprinting and also high intensity uh, interval uh, sets and then they also did a, a weekly time trial this was a, a set amount of calories in these times 250 kilojoules so so a certain amount of energy they had to produce and then the, the um, time trial was done and then they also did some plyometric exercise so actually a very nice i would say exercise protocol six times a week so that's quite a lot in total the study ran for four weeks and what you can see here is quite beautiful, and that's why I also want to show this, this study. In uh, both groups, so the, the protein group, which is the, the black uh, bars, and also the control group, lost both four kilograms approximately in four weeks. Right, So that's something you can expect if you eat 40% uh, less calories than your estimated amount you should eat, you get to around 4 kilograms of body weight loss. That's quite substantial. And here you can already nicely see the people who ate a high protein diet actually gained lean body mass or muscle mass in this case. Okay, they gained approximately one kilogram and um, they lost more fat mass. You can see on the right side, they lost more fat mass and gained a little bit of, uh, of lean body mass. So that shows that you can actually hack the system. You can lose body weight while preserving or even increasing your uh, muscle mass and, and decreasing obviously substantially your fat mass. And look at the uh, control group. The control group just preserved their muscle mass. That is because they ate a sufficient amount of protein but did hard exercise or at least a high volume of exercise. So here you can think, yeah, okay, and how, uh, what about performance variables? Did they also increase their performance while they were on the diet? And here it gets interesting. Yes, look at the middle part of the of the graph, um, you see, for example, bench press, push-ups, sit-ups, peak power on the bike. You see the pre-variable, so before they actually start the diet and the post uh, variables after they, they, they did the diet and also the exercise intervention, obviously, all the numbers increased. For example, push-ups, they went from 29 to 39 and the same amount increase or the similar uh, increases in the control group. There were no, uh, let's say, differences between the groups, although if you look at it more closely, you see that here, for example, they went to 39 uh, push-ups, but they, they, they came from a little bit higher. So there were no statistical differences between the groups here. All right, but they all improved their performance. That's important, for example, for people into uh, CrossFit or hybrid training, you can actually lose a little bit of body weight while maintaining or even improving your, yeah, your, your performance, obviously. One thing, uh, some people always complain that, yeah, if I eat a high protein diet, it's bad for my kidneys. Let's see if that's true. Here, for example, here is a, a measurement of kidney function, uh, creatinine uh, clearance, and you see it's perfectly in check. Uh, there's no differences uh, between the protein group and the control group. It's actually the same values. And that is also backed by, by previous research that even high protein diet for a much longer period of time do not negatively influence the, the kidneys. So it looks like that when you are on a diet and you do also an additional amount of exercise, you can at least preserve your muscle mass. You can see here also what, what is happening. This is from the same overview study that I just uh, showed. You can see that, um, look at here, fat-free mass. There are, let's say it's a triv trivial. Some uh, studies here at the bottom show no decrease in fat-free mass, and some actually do still uh, show some fat-free mass reduction. So it depends also on what exercise you do, aerobic or strength exercise, and how long the study is. Important, if you wanna gain also muscle mass, it's not enough to just do some exercise. You need to eat a high amount of protein and we would uh, suggest above 2.0 grams per kilogram body weight. So, so this leads us to the take home message of this video. And first of all, I mean, it's quite clear. If you wanna lose body weight, you need to be in a caloric deficit. You need to eat less calories than the body actually needs. That's clear. But you can obviously manipulate the amount of protein, even carbs and fats that you eat, as well as the amount of uh, exercise and how you do the exercise during that diet. So what we recommend is to eat a high protein diet while on a caloric deficit. So high protein means more than two grams per kilogram body weight. 
all right? And also at the same time doing, let's say, a lot of vigorous exercise, resistance exercise, combination or no combination with aerobic uh, exercise, all right? And at that point, if you do that, you can actually increase your muscle mass and decrease your body fat at the same time. I mean, how good can it get? Good. If you like this type of content, please just leave a quick like. It takes one second of your time, really helps us. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. For me, that was it. Bye for now and see you in the next one. Ciao.